Hi, hello, one a come and welcome back to yet another episode on your favorite Little Sla YouTube channel. So today, yes, we are going to see uh, one of the questions that has been asked in interview. And in fact, sorry, our first subscriber had told that this question uh, it's been asked in uh, companies like Deloitte, Accenture, Cape Gemini. So if you are going to attend interviews in one of these organizations, please do go through this uh, video completely to understand. I mean, like this will definitely help you to crack one of the uh, complex question that has been asked that is you're going to face in your interview. So uh, before we move on to this video, this is me, Yosan Shanmugam. I welcome you all to our Little Sla YouTube channel. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And there is one more thing which I wanted to say. Uh, I do have a membership plan uh, for our Little Slaw YouTube channel. And the thing here is uh, uh, members, yes, previously they do uh, get uh, early access to the videos. But going forward, I'm planning to give 25% discount for all the training sessions that I'm going to conduct um, in the upcoming days. And in fact, there is another uh, load runner uh, training that is going to happen next weekend. And in fact, you're going to... Uh, the members are going to get discount on the 25% discount on the trainings and uh, if you're interested uh, please do take the membership and you'll get discounts like up to 25% for all the training courses and you do get early access and uh, if you have any questions we can actually discuss it you can ask me any questions in terms of your relate job related or any queries related to your work and yeah, coming back to this video so uh, what we were discussing I mean, again coming back to the question so what is a question uh, that Uh, it has been asked in the interview is uh, in a performance test scenario uh, say for example if an authentication token expires after a minute or like after it can be after like one minute or 30 minutes or like or like one hour how would you handle the token management to ensure the seamless execution of subsequent transactions say for example so the point here is very simple you want to keep the uh, the session alive uh, and the session expires after 30 minutes. So you want to keep it alive even after 30 minutes. So how are we going to handle it? What is the technique that we're going to do? And in this video, uh, uh, again, uh, we have like several tools, like we know we do have JMeter, Near Load and Load Runner. So in this tool, in this video, we're going to see how are we going to use or how are we going to deal this with the tool called JMeter. So in JMeter, how are we going to handle this? Yes, most of us uh, use JMeter, which is the open source performance testing tool. And uh, in this video, we're going to see about JMeter. And if you want to see how are we going to do, do this using LoadRunner, NeoLoad, or any other tools, please feel free to subscribe to our channel and you get uh, access to all those videos. And uh, thank you so much for considering me uh, to take, considering for me taking membership. And yep, in this video, we're going to see how to handle this using JMeter. And I'll show you the code. What did I do? and then I will even upload the code in the github uh, and I'll share you the link you can please go there and you can download it for your practice purpose and even I would advise you to show your code to the client you can actually write this code I mean <laughs> you can actually take this code with you and you can show it to the client and you can show it to the interviewer and tell them that's it this is how I handle I mean again I would say um, like in the Iron Man, uh, sorry, the Endgame uh, Avengers movie, like uh, the Doctor Strange would say, right? Uh, what is the possibility of doing this? He says that he said in that movie that there's one possibility, but I would say in Neo Loader using JMeter or using Loader, there are like multiple possibilities what i'm showing is one of the possibility one of the algorithm or one of the way that it worked but apart from this there are like several other plugins with jmeter support so there are several other ways to handle the scenario so my way my one the first way of doing this so in fact i'm going to show you with different other components different other plugins as well in this video i'm going to show you how to do this with the jsr223 preprocessor as a sampler right and let's now dive onto the video And yep, uh, one of our subscribers had asked uh, notes on what I do. So I'm going, going forward, I'm going to create a notes as well uh, with whatever I'm going to create. And yep, coming back to this one. So here I have, okay, let me just get a notepad for me first. So, yep. Yeah, uh, sorry. 
Yep. So the first thing is uh, coming back to the JMeter thing. So here I have two scripts. Okay. First thing is this script. Uh, okay. Let me just keep it this way. So I have two scripts. One is script zero one. Uh, and this is the actual script that is running the load test. Okay, so this is the business transaction. So let me consider this as a this is a business transaction which requires the token to be replaced. Right. So in our case, let me um, keep it like uh, to be replaced after every 60 seconds. Right. And now this step two, I mean the script two. So in the script two, I'm generating the token. So it can be anything. It can be um, you can uh, create, a, you can do the correlation part or whatever it is. So in my case, okay, okay, let me just keep it this way. I'm generating the token in this one, right? So now the third step, what did I do? So I have a created a script, and then uh, take for example, I'm replacing this in the URL part. So in the URL part. Uh, this is where I'm going to replace my token. So the property my token is where I'm going to replace. I have like multiple scripts and in each and every step I have the token because just imagine when you're doing your correlation part, right? So when you're doing your correlation, uh, you're going to pass pass your to token or J session ID or whatever token in all the subsequent requests, right? And it, it will actually pass along all the subsequent transactions as well, like starting from transaction one to transaction um, end, whatever the last transaction is. And then the second part here is in the script two, I have created the JSR two to three samplers. As I told you, I'll actually paste this in your uh, the GitHub so you can take it from there. So what did I do here is I'm actually generating a dynamic token. So this will actually generate a dynamic token. So this is to sh just for the sake of uh, when you're doing correlation, you are going to automatically do the correlation part, and that that depends on you. When in fact this is an example, so I'm just showing you this one. And once I generate the hardcoded token, I'm then storing the token in a JMeter properties globally. So when I say globally, this will be shared across all the other scripts, right? And for that, I'm going to create a property, which is my token, right? And this will be stored in the global uh, JMeter property as my token. And for the sake of printing it, and for the sake of printing it, I'm actually printing uh, the number as login forward. If you need it, you can keep it for debugging but if once your debugging is over it's an optional step i just created it if you do not need that you can just uh, comment it for now for the purpose of de debugging i'm keeping it so what happens is and, and in fact uh, we have a point here right so it has to run like for every 60 minutes or 60 seconds or for one hour or two hour so in this scenario i'm going to run this particular or i'm going to generate the token for after every 30 seconds right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to generate the token after every 30 seconds. But the point here is just imagine you're going to run a script starting from first transaction to the last transaction, right? You do not want to deviate from here because your business objective will automatically get changed because when your when our when your end user is going to do his transaction, he's not going to deviate from the a particular transaction he is not going to generate the login or whatever it is he going he is going to stay normally in the application and he will maintain the session but in our scenario we should encapsulate it we should not show them to the user or show them show them to the business telling that see i'm going to generate something and this has to be noted down as part of your script no it's not going to be part of our script so what i'm doing here is this particular token generation is going to be a separate script but the point here is this will run along the other thread groups. So we're going to run the thread group along with the original business transaction. So what happens is after every 30 seconds, the token will get generated and automatically it will be replaced in your script. Define this as a magic, right? So hope I believe you could have understood what I'm trying to do. So let me show you this way so that you can easily understand. Let me get this whiteboard for you. Where is it? Whiteboard. Yep, whiteboard. So what I'm doing here is let me draw something. I'm really bad at drawing, but please do. Um, excuse me. So 
uh, yep so what i'm doing is come on i'm running a script for just um, for like one hour or whatever it is sorry one hour or whatever it is okay after every 10 minutes i need to generate my token but i should not stop the test for that right so what happens is when i'm running the script along with that i'm running the gener token generation as well but the point here is this token generation script will wait for 10 minutes and it will trigger the token here and once it is triggered it will automatically send to this part and then it will automatically get the session will get alive and it will run meanwhile this will wait my script will wait for another 10 minutes or 20 or 30 minutes or whatever it is and then it will generate the token again it will send it back to the original business scenario and then it will run for another 30 minutes same here waiting generating token sending it to the first script working going back it says keep on iterating so now i believe what i'm trying to say i think you must have understood what i'm trying to say right so what are we doing is we are generating token in one script a parallel he is going to be another consecutive user and another script on the other side where he is going to run the business transaction so every time i generate a token i send that token to the script and the script will use it and run for another 30 minutes and will keep the session alive and after that once by the time it's going to get over we are going to send another token so once this token is sent again it will keep on it will get alive and then it will keep on running so this is what we're going to iterate and iterate and iterate so coming back to our point here so how are we going to do it so in our scenario i have um, a script and it, each script has like 30 10, 10 seconds or whatever uh, the response the thing time and then it'll run for like some few minutes and here i have a uh, 30 seconds of waiting so every after every 30 seconds the token will gen get generated and then it'll transfer the token to the other script and for that we are writing this code here and this will generate the token and this will actually put the value in the jmeter property globally and it will be used so now let's see how does it work so let me refresh the screen and let me run this so i'll go to the view results tree so in the view results tree in the very first transaction controller i have a value uh sorry let me go back here okay so for the first thing i don't have any value because it's still my token the token is not yet generated let's wait for a few seconds here so now the system is alive because you are starting it for the first time so the system has its token right in your login or whatever it is so now what happens is i have generated the token so once i generate the token if you go here the token has get generated right so now the token is running and in fact i will show you this one so i'm i have running it this with one thread one user and the duration is going to be five minutes so same time and everything it's going to be like one user and with one thread and then with duration of 30 seconds 300 seconds which is going to be another five minutes so it's going to run for the same time coming back to the view results tree here so now we have got the token and now it is running right so after this point of time when we get when we got the another token so previously it ends with 292 and now what happens is now it's going to end with 397 so after if you see if you uh, watch it very closely you can find it let me just minimize everything so what happens is after every 30 seconds this particular transaction gets generated which means uh, in fact if you can even increase it so no matter what it, it it does not want to be after the end so what happens is it actually waits until all the five transactions gets completed and then it runs and in fact if you want to ink if you want to move it anywhere between this yes you can do it a little bit safe what happens here is this five transactions take actually 30 seconds to complete so that's the reason it, it actually runs after 30 seconds but here after 30 seconds it runs it generates a new token every time so if you see here it generates a new token every time and then it sends back to the first script and the first script actually uses it so it's very 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 simple so all the thing is you have to break the logic you have to break the analytic you have to use the analytical skills to break the logic and our people are very 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 great at it so uh, i believe um, you might have you might have understood what i'm trying to say so so far we have like two scripts one is the business scenario and the other one is the uh, script which generates the token and they do run parallelly so while running the 
to token generation script will generate the token and then it will send it back to the other scripts and then the other scripts actually use them as the value or as their uh, uh, token and then they keep the session alive so this is what happens and this is in fact what the interviewer might be expecting it from you so in fact as i told you we are going to try this with several other components several other possibilities several other possible ways and with several other possible tools as well so jmeter is uh, close to my heart so that's the reason i've started with jmeter and in fact many many people are asking uh, how to do this with jmeter because i know you all know jmeter has a largest market share in the uh, in the performance testing area so people are asking it so that's the reason i created it for the first with jmeter going forward i'll show you with different other tools and different other techniques as well so until this okay uh, let me just quickly uh, share this into my github account just a moment guys uh, let me quickly save this save test planners and uh, what name will uh, token generation one minute save okay and let me get my jmita github thing okay let me generate a new one yep and for those who do not know how to create a repository you can use this one so jmeter uh, token sorry token generation uh, i'm going to keep it public had a readme file creating a repo and once the repo is created let me add this file create new file really sorry i have to add this new file upload the files uh, just a moment you get this one Uh, yep so now here's the file and let me just quickly upload it yep and uh, let me just commit this change directly to the uh, main branch yep so here is the file and uh, it's under my github.com ascension jmeter token generation so if you want it you can just uh, uh, do a fork and then you can download this code and try it in your machine and i wish you all the very best uh, thank you so much for watching this entire video and until i see you in our next video it's bye bye from and your favorite little slaw youtube channel take care and bye bye